Why do we hold discussions? Have you ever had an eye-opening discussion in a class that changed the way you think about something? Talking with others about the things we are learning allows us to hear lots of different perspectives. This helps us learn more about what we really believe ourselves and helps us come to a new and deeper understanding. As we share our personal stories with each other, we are taught how to apply true principles into our own lives. Discussions let students teach and learn from each other. This is just one way that we use the principle teach one another from the BYU-Idaho learning model. In online courses, we use discussion boards a lot to teach one another. Unlike a discussion in class, online discussion boards are asynchronous activities, meaning not everyone is on at the same time. Here are some tips that will help make our online discussions more useful and enjoyable. Post early. Can you imagine showing up to a classroom to have a discussion and no one else is there? How fun is it to talk to a wall? Posting early gives the discussion time to develop. Read others' post before making your own. Again, imagine sitting in a classroom where every student says essentially the same thing. How boring! When you post on a discussion board, you need to make sure that you're not simply repeating the things that others have already said. And the best way to do that is to take the time to read what they've said. Write clearly and concisely. Because you can't see or hear one another in online discussions, you've got to be clear and concise in order to get your meaning across without smiling, eye contact, hand gestures, and other body language. Check your grammar and punctuation. A missing comma can make a big difference. For example, let's eat, grandpa, or let's eat grandpa. Refer to others' posts. Saying things like, Stephanie mentioned in her post that, or I agree with most of Mark's posts but, can help everyone see where you are coming from and helps bring everyone together. Explain yourself. Sometimes it might be okay to write, I completely agree. However, these posts don't do much to make the discussion deeper or more meaningful. If you want to earn credit and points for a post, you can still start by saying, I agree, or no way, but you should then tell us why you think that way, or ask a new question, or share a personal experience, anything that will help move the discussion forward. Be respectful. Remember, say what you mean without being mean. Be civil with each other. Keep in mind, what you write may come across differently when it's read by others. Following these simple tips can help make for some amazing discussions. Now, go discuss something.